Hey there, AP Stats students. Uh, it's Mr. Lineski here, and we are going to take a quick little journey on how to use your z-score table. Um, there are two types of problems that you can see when it comes to z-scores. The first type of problem is when I give you a data point and you have to find the probability. Um, so when you do that, how you use your table is you work from the outside in, meaning you're going to work on the outskirts uh, where the z-scores are, and then your final answer is going to be somewhere inside the table. Um, as a reminder, the formula that we're using here is our z-score formula, which states the data point minus the mean divided by standard deviation. Um, the second type of problem is if you are given the probability, typically it's as a percentage, um, and you are asked to find either the data point, the mean, or the standard deviation. And if that's the case, the idea is to look from the inside, find the percent or find the probability somewhere inside the table, and then work your way backwards through z-score to solve for one of these three variables. Um, so I just have two example problems that we're going to take a look at, and I'll kind of walk you through how to use the table to solve them. So let's say that the average rainfall in Brazil is 50 inches per year with a standard deviation of 7.5 inches. And we want to know what's the probability that the rainfall in Brazil is less than 31 inches. So this is my data point x, this is my mean, and this is my standard deviation. So we are asked to find what is the probability. So we're going to use z-score formula. Uh, z-score tells us we're going to do 31 minus uh, 50 divided by the standard deviation. Notice that 31 is less than 50, so we should have a negative z-score. We should be below the mean. And remember, in terms of a z-score, 0 is always your, your average or your mean. Um, so when I do this math here, you end up getting a z-score of negative 2.53. Um, okay, so now how do we use the table to help us? Now I want to remind you that the table is broken up into two sections, the negative z-scores, the positive z-scores. Um, I'm just showing you a part of the negative z-scores right now. Um, and so what you want to do is you want to find the z-score of negative 2.53 in this table somewhere. So here's negative 2.5, so we're going to be in this row, and then we want to match it up with 3, the point oh three, so that when I combine it together, uh, negative 2.503. So then my answer here would be 0 0.0057, or if you're a percent person, that ends up being 0.57%. So there's a 0.57% chance that there will be less than 31 inches of rain in Brazil in a given year, um, which is a really, really small number. So that's how you use the z-score table to do a problem working from the outside in to find a probability. One thing that you want to remember, um, this was asking that it was less than 31 inches, and so you need to remember that the percent that you are finding is always less than. Um, if this had said more than 31 inches, you still could have found this number, but then you need to remember to take 1 minus that number to get the more than side to figure out what this shaded area of your normal curve looks like. All right, and then we'll do one last problem here when we work from the inside out. Uh, so weather maps show that Brazil will have less than 10% of its average rainfall this coming year. How many inches of rain can be expected in Brazil? Um, so all the data is uh, remaining the same. Standard deviation is 7.5 and the average is 50. And notice this is asking how much rain can we expect. So we're asked to solve for x in this case. Um, we are given a percent this time, 10%. So that's where you need to find 10% somewhere in your table, either on the positive side or the negative side of the table. Um, typically, the larger numbers above 50% are on the positive side, and numbers below 50% are on the negative side. So 10%, I'm looking for 0.1 somewhere. Um, and let's see, here we go. So these two numbers right here are the closest to just regular 0.1. Um, and you want to always try to take whichever one's closer. So I'm going to go with 0 0.1003. Um, and you need to actually use all of the digits inside of uh, that. So 0 
I'm sorry, 0 0.1003 has a z-score of negative 1.28. So kind of follow the z-score outwards to say, well, what's the z-score? So the z-score is negative 1.28. And now we just set this up in our z-score formula and kind of work backwards through it. Um, so it's data point minus the mean divided by standard deviation. And now it's just a matter of solving for x. So multiply both sides by 7.5, um, which gives you x minus 50 equals negative 9.6. Add 50 to both sides and you get a final answer of about 40.4 inches of rain. And that's how you use your z-score table. Thank you for watching. I know it, and now you know it.